Hi, I'm Simon Cohen, one of the co-founders and the mission director of the Aardvark Israel program. And I'd like to explain to you our Pioneer Israel Gap Year program. This is a program we run in conjunction with Hashomet Hadash. Hashomet Hadash is an agricultural, environmental and educational organization which brings together thousands of volunteers every year to experience the land of Israel and to appreciate the land of Israel, work the land of Israel and protect the land of Israel. And if that sounds like something you'd like to do, then this is exactly the right program for you. In a nutshell, the idea of the program is to help strengthen your Jewish identity and your connection to the Israel, um, to enhance your understanding of Jewish peoplehood and collective history, to explore the concept of responsibility for each other, for our land and for our nation, we also want you to contribute to the Israeli society and expand your knowledge about nature, agriculture, leadership, whilst also acquiring skills in these areas. If you're interested in old school Zionism and working the land of Israel, protecting the land of Israel, maintaining the land of Israel, and educating others about our responsibility for the land of Israel, then this is the exact program for you. One of the most beautiful aspects of this program is this idea of a garin or a kamuna. It's not just going to be a few diaspora Jews coming together to work the land, but actually we're going to put you together in a group with an equal amount of Israelis and an equal amount of diaspora Jews coming together to form one community, working together, living together and ex having this experience together. So whilst on the program, you'll be living in the same apartment with Israelis, um, which means you'll be improving your Hebrew, being immersed in Israeli society, making Israeli friends. And at the same time, you'll be working together sharing your experience together um, and doing everything basically together. And you should be a close knit group uh, of friends and a nice, beautiful community, which is something very unique to the Israel gap you're seeing. But if you're looking to be immersed in Israeli society and a close connection with Israelis, then this is the perfect program for you. And in terms of the way you'll be living, um, the program itself is based in Jerusalem. You're living in apartments in the middle of the Nachlaot neighborhood. It's very near Gan Sacher, which is Jerusalem's version of Central Park, but it's also near Shuk Machani Yehuda, the Machani Yehuda market, which is a very lively scene, very near Ben Yehuda Street in the downtown Triangle, and about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the old city of Jerusalem, which makes it a really amazing place to live, smack bang in the middle of downtown Jerusalem. In terms of the actual living situation itself, you're living in apartments, um, and our expectation is you are becoming a young independent adult on our program, that you're learning life skills, that you are and these are fully furnished, fully equipped apartments. And our expectation is you are cooking for yourselves, cleaning for yourselves, doing your own laundry, budgeting, shopping, um, living with people who are potentially different from you, making new friends, um, and having that, that kind of independent young adult experience whilst in Israel and being immersed in Israeli society. And that's a really great opportunity. Now, in terms of the program itself, um, the weekly schedule starts on a Sunday and finishes on a Thursday, and the weekends are Friday and Shabbat. Weekends, um, two out of three weekends on the program are free, and that's your chance to explore Israel, visit friends, visit family, travel around. But one weekend in every three, we do a Shabbaton together with the community, with the Gerin, with the Komuna of Israelis and you guys living together and doing a Shabbaton together. Uh, we have different pe people coming from all different backgrounds on the programs. So you can be religious or secular, but we're going to create a community where everyone can respect each other and live together and work together as well. The rest of the week you can see is split up in between classes, working uh, in an agricultural farm and an agricultural field and different field trips uh, and everything else. And every evening there's different activities going on as well. Just to put it into a little bit more specifics, and we'll go into everything in more detail in a second, but on a Monday and Wednesday morning, then uh, you have Hebrew Orpan, which means you're learning the language. Thursday we have different Israel courses, current events courses, learning all about what's going on in Israel today. Um, all of the blue boxes you see are times where you are working with the Kamuna in the farm that you're going to be setting up and educating in the farm and time to plan and everything else. Um, there are more classes on a Monday and Wednesday afternoon for those who want to do those classes. They are optional. And in the evenings, there's different activities going on, as I said before. Let's break that down into a little bit more detail. Um, as you can see, daily work consists of agriculture and education. You are going to be responsible for building an inner city farm in the middle of Jerusalem. The idea being to create a farm from nothing uh, that is self-sustainable and then bring in different groups of people and students and Israeli school children and Israeli youth movements and birthright groups and other gap year programs and maybe adult groups as well and educate them about what it means 
to work the land of Israel, to protect the land of Israel, self-sustainability, environmentalism, e being ecologically friendly and ecologically conscious and protecting the land that was given to us so we can pass it on for future generations. And this is what you're going to be spending most of your time doing. Setting The beginning of the program will be mainly setting up the farm, learning the skills and maintaining the farm. And throughout the, as you get to further into the program, you'll be spending more time doing PR, um, publicizing the opportunities, the educational opportunities that exist there and bringing groups there and educating those groups and doing the educational part of the program as well. You can see throughout the week in the orange boxes, there are also different academic programs going on as well. We offer the opportunity to earn up to 24 credits through, America, through our accreditation body, American Jewish University, which is in Los Angeles. So you can earn American University credits on our program. Everyone on the program is doing Hebrew and Upan and learning the Hebrew skills. We also have Jewish studies classes, Israel studies, history and thought, all sorts of other topics as well. Um, and it's up to you sort of beyond Hebrew and, uh, and one Israel elective, which classes you do and how many classes you do. Beyond that, we'll also have different workshops and training offered in permaculture, carpentry, sustainable farming, soil, crop, all the things you're going to need to successfully set up and run uh, an, agri an, an inner city farm. Every, every other Tuesday, you'll be doing field trips with the regular Aardvark Israel program. The Aardvark Israel program is one of the largest gap year programs in Israel. Um, and you'll be going on weekly, uh, sorry, uh, every two weeks, you'll be doing different activities um, and field trips with the Aardvark Israel program. Um, going all over around Jerusalem, all over the area and all over Israel as well. Plus, we'll be doing different overnight trips where you'll spend a few days in the Golan Heights, the Galil, the Negev Desert, the Judean Desert. You'll be doing a bit of a kibbutz seminar to get a bit of a feel for what a kibbutz is all about as well. And that's over the course of the program, you should really see the length and breadth of Israel whilst you're on our program. On our program, most of our students have been to Israel before, so we don't want to take you to the same tourist sites you've already been to or can get to in your own free time. What we like to do is take you off the beaten track to what we like to call the hidden gems of Israel, those secret places that tourists don't know about. Even Israelis don't know about the place we go to, and that's every single week of the program. If we look here, also in the evenings, there are different activities going on. Some are optional and some are mandatory. There is an apartment meeting every week of the program. That's our time to, to make sure your apartment is running smoothly, you're getting on with each other, that your apartment is a clean and hygienic place to live. Um, and also to do a bit of processing with you about the experience you're having. Beyond that, there are different activities happening run by our madrachim. There might be social group bonding activities. Uh, it could be paintballing or rock climbing, or it could be uh, an Israeli film, work, uh, film night. Uh, or, or, or something like that. We also have a Jewish life coordinator who's running different Jewish learning opportunities throughout the week on both campuses. And we have something called Faces of Israel, which is our opportunity to expose you to Israeli society and culture through different workshops, guest speakers and activities, all to do with society, culture and politics in Israel as well. Finally, um, some, uh, some unique opportunities um, for the Pioneer Israel Gap Year program. Once a week, they'll be doing different sports activities to not only keep you fit, but to uh, help you bond and connect and, uh, and just have some fun and get out and about. Every three weeks, as I said before, you'll be doing Shabbat Zvonim. It's a chance for bonding and a chance for getting to know each other. And, and if you want to, chances for some spiritual growth as well. And every few weeks, you'll be doing Shmirah, which is guard duty at the communal farm in the early hours of the evening as well, just to create some sort of presence on the farm and make sure people know that this is a farm that is used, that is loved, and that people are there, and it's, uh, and it's, part, of the, it's part of the Jerusalem landscape at this point as well. Finally, you have the option to join the Aardvark Israel program in some of our international add-ons. Each semester, you can choose from one of our extra trips on our program. They cost a little bit of extra money, um, and it's up to you whether or not you choose to do them. In the first semester, we go to Spain, Czech Republic, and China. And in the second semester, Ethiopia, Italy, and Germany. In each of those countries, we see the main tourist sites in that country, um, experience the culture of that country uh, as well. We're going to interact with the local Jewish community in each of those countries as well. And we're going to do a seminar in the Israeli embassy in each of those countries to understand Israel's relationship with each of those countries individually. And the more countries you go to, you get to understand Israel's place in the world and Israel's place in the international community. If you do have any questions about the Pioneer Israel Gap Year program, we'd be happy to answer them. We'd be happy to go into more detail about any of the aspects of the program I have mentioned. So if you do want more information, please feel free to contact us um, on the information provided here. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you very much for your time.